I'm back on the underground bus project. I'm going to try to get this tarped and the sides backfilled. First, I need to measure and see how long the tarp needs to be. about 33 feet 24 not good about 24 now i need to check the outside to make sure that it's going to go down all the way i laid this pit liner out a couple days ago this is the roll that i have that thing is very heavy i know you can't tell it on film but that is thick it's like a hundred mil probably or more. Okay, I'm out of shape. That is not as heavy as what I thought it was gonna be. Still pretty heavy. I have a couple of other pieces. This thing right here. When I was rolling it out to cut it, I couldn't, and this is going downhill, I couldn't unroll that by hand. I had to use a tractor to unroll that. That's how heavy this stuff is. I'm gonna get all the leaves off the top. I don't know if you can tell it. Right there is where I tried to make the jump the other day in Crocs and almost ended up down there. Okay, I got two layers of the, I think it's a 100 mil pit liner on. I'm gonna start filling the sides in. I'm gonna stop probably about right here because I wanna add more protection up here to the front. So I'm gonna go around, fill the sides in on this side, go over there, fill the sides in on that side. I'm not sure how far up it'll go. What I plan on doing is to just hump it up and over and that way that the rain and everything, instead of going down and in, it'll just come over and out. Here's where we're at now. The timeline on this footage is a bit off uh, because I had lost some previously filmed footage. As you can see, we had a drum collapse in from that side. I'm trying to figure out now how to get the back encased. We're having some issues with condensation, mainly because I don't have the top covered yet and the, and the black pit liner is causing it to heat up, which caused condensation on the inside. The good part is I open the back door and within an hour it's gone, completely dried up. So the plan for that is to add some piping down here, go to the front of the bus, add some air inlets, and then put some fans here on, on the back part, some computer fans that run on solar. 
Still going to come back in, cover all this up. I'm going to dig back into the back here and bring that clay from the back part to use to cover it up. Right now I'm trying to get a skid steer to help move material because the excavator is not very efficient with moving bulk material. So that'll do it for this episode. I don't know if I'm going to get it covered before the snow comes, but I definitely need to get ventilation.